Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to make a circular pattern and this pattern can be used as a doily, as a pot holder, as a mug mat, coaster or even as a place mat. This pattern is very easy to make and the techniques that I am going to apply for this pattern are chains, single crochet, double crochet and treble crochet. So it is a very good tutorial for those who want to learn all these basic stitches. So we are going to begin now. I am going to use thread for this project. So you need a ball of thread, a pair of scissors and a hook of 0.75 mm. So let's get started. At first we will begin with slip knot. So make a loop, insert the hook in, pull through to make a slip knot first. Now wrap the yarn on your hook, pull through, 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 and pull through. 8, 9, and 10. These are 10 chains. We have to go back to the first chain, insert the hook in, yarn over, pull through both the loops. This is slip stitch. Now foundation ring is ready. Chain 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull through. There are 3 loops on the hook, pull through 2, pull through 2, double crochet 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are ten double crochet. We have to make ten more into the ring. So complete making twenty double crochet into the ring, and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When twenty double crochet into the ring are complete. We have to join the stitches on the top of the 4 stitch, so insert the hook and pull through, pull through 2. On the top of each stitch, we have to make treble crochet. So chain 1, 2, 3 and 4, which counts as a treble crochet. Chain 1 for chain space. Yarn over 2 times on the hook. On the top of the next stitch, insert the hook and pull through, pull through 2, pull through 2, pull through 2. Treble crochet. 2, chain 1 for chain space. Wrap the yarn twice on the hook on the top of the next stitch. Next treble crochet. Chain 1 for chain space. Wrap the yarn twice on the hook on the top of the next stitch. Treble crochet. 4. Chain 1 for chain space. Wrap the yarn twice on the hook on the top of the next stitch treble crochet 5 so complete making 20 treble crochet on the top of 20 stitches of the previous round and we will meet again when this round would be completed when 20 trebles are complete we have to make chain 1 now we have to join the stitches into the 4th, 2nd, 3rd, 4th chain of the 4th stitch so insert the hook in pull through, pull through 2 now we have to make chain 1, 2, 3 and 4 on the top of the next stitch, join the stitches with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4 on the top of the next stitch, join the stitches with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4 on the top of the next stitch, join the stitches with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3 and 4 on the top of the next stitch, join these stitches with slip stitch. So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have made chain 4, now we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4 stitch where we began the pattern with slip stitch. 
now into this first loop we have to make single crochet one single crochet two now chain one two three four first treble crochet wrap the yarn twice on the hook into the same loop we have to make one more treble chain one for chain space wrap the yarn twice on the hook into the next loop treble crochet one treble crochet two chain one for chain space into the next loop treble crochet one treble crochet two so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain one now we have to join the stitches into the fourth second third fourth chain of the fourth stitch so insert the hook in pull through both the loops this is slip stitch on the top of the fourth stitch we have to make chain one two three four wrap the yarn twice on the hook on the top of the next stitch one more treble crochet chain two for chain space wrap the yarn twice on the hook on the top of the next stitch one treble wrap the yarn twice on the hook on the top of the next stitch treble crochet two chain two for chain space on the top of the next treble treble crochet one on the top of the next treble treble crochet two chain two for chain space so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain two now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch so insert the hook and pull through pull through two now on the top of the fourth stitch chain four which counts as a treble crochet into the same stitch we have to make one more treble crochet so pull through two pull through two and pull through two on the top of the next stitch treble crochet one chain two for chain space so on the top of two stitches we have made three stitches in this round now on the top of the first treble insert the hook and pull through pull through two pull through two and pull through two treble crochet one on the top of the same stitch we have to make one more treble so treble crochet two on the top of the next stitch treble crochet one so there are three treble crochet on the top of two stitches chain two for chain space on the top of the next stitch treble crochet one into the same stitch treble crochet two on the top of the next stitch treble crochet one chain two for chain space so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have joined the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch on the top of the fourth stitch chain one two three four which counts as a treble crochet wrap the yarn twice on the hook into the same stitch insert the hook in pull through pull through two pull through two and pull through two treble crochet two now on the top of the next stitch treble crochet three on the top of the next stitch insert the hook in pull through pull through two pull through two pull through two. now we have made four trebles on the top of three chain two for chain space 
wrap the yarn twice on the hook on the top of the next stitch insert the hook in pull through pull through two pull through two pull through two treble crochet one on the top of the same stitch treble crochet two on the top of the next stitch treble crochet one on the top of the next stitch treble crochet one chain two for chain space so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to make chain 2. Now we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4th stitch. So insert the hook and pull through to 2. Now on the top of the 4th stitch, chain 4 which counts as a treble crochet. Wrap the yarn twice on the hook. On the top of the next stitch, 1 treble crochet. On the top of the next stitch, treble crochet 1. On the top of the next stitch, treble crochet 1. Into this chain space of 2, treble crochet 1. Into the same chain space of 2, treble crochet 2. Into the same chain space, treble crochet 3. And treble crochet 4 into the same chain space of 2 on the top of the next stitch treble crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch treble crochet 2 third treble on the top of the next stitch and treble crochet 4 on the top of the next stitch chain 1 2 3 4 5 for chain space and now we have to continue making trebles on the top of each stitch and into the chain space of two we have to make four trebles so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain five now we have to join the stitches on the top of the four stitch so insert the hook in pull through pull through two now on the top of the four stitch chain one two three wrap the yarn twice on the hook on the top of the next stitch treble crochet one on the top of the next stitch one treble crochet on the top of the next stitch treble crochet one on the top of the next stitch treble crochet one on the top of the next stitch one treble crochet on the top of the next stitch treble crochet one one treble crochet on the top of the next stitch one treble crochet on the top of the next so we have to make one treble crochet on the top of each stitch but into the first two and the last two stitches we are going to join these both stitches now this is 11th treble crochet do not close it into the 12th treble crochet pull through two pull through two and pull through all the loops chain one two three four five now into this chain space of 5 we have to make treble crochet 1 chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 5 treble crochet 2 to make a V stitch chain 1 2 3 4 5 now on the top of the first stitch of the next cluster treble crochet 1 do not close it on the top of the next stitch treble crochet 2 pull through all the loops now we have to make one treble crochet on the top of each stitch so one treble crochet on the top of the next stitch treble crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch treble crochet 1 on the top of the next one treble crochet on the top of the next on the top of the next stitch 
treble crochet yarn on the top of the next stitch one treble crochet on the top of the next one treble crochet on the top of the next stitch do not close it and one treble crochet on the top of the next pull through all the loops chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 now we have to make v stitch into this chain space of 2 and one more treble crochet chain 5 again 1 2 3 4 5 so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain 5 now on the top of the first stitch we have to make single crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch a half double crochet on the top of the next stitch double crochet on the top of the next stitch double crochet on the top of the next stitch double crochet double crochet on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next stitch a double crochet on the top of the next stitch a half double crochet and on the top of the next stitch single crochet now we have to make chain one two three four five now into this chain space of two we have to make double crochet one two and three chain two for chain space three double crochet again one two three chain one two three four five now on the top of the first stitch we have to make single crochet on the top of the next stitch a half double crochet on the top of the next stitch double crochet double crochet on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next stitch double crochet one on the top of the next stitch double crochet one on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next on the top of the next stitch a half double crochet and single crochet on the top of the next stitch chain one two three four five so complete the round following the same pattern and you can see these petals are now closed so complete the round and we will meet again when this round would be complete when this round is complete you can see all the petals are now complete now we have to make chain 8 and we have to skip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stitches. After the 5th stitch, join the stitches with slip stitch. Now we have to make chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Into this chain space of 2, we have to make double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4. Chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 2 double crochet 1, 2, 3, chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 2 double crochet 1, 2 and 3. Now we have to make chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8 and now we have to skip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stitches. After the 5th stitch, join the stitches with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Into this chain space of 2, we have to make 3 sets of 3 double crochet. So this is the 4th set chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space double crochet 1 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 2 double crochet 1 2 and 3 chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 
now we have to skip one two three four five stitches after the fifth stitch join the stitches with slip stitch so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed this pattern is complete when this round would be completed so we have joined the stitches with slip stitch and now we have cut their thread and this flower pattern is now complete this can be used as a doily as a placemat as a mug mat cup coaster or even as a pot holder thank you so much